It's just not the money that RPE spends that makes the impact. More impact is made by spending time with the teams. We visit the awardees on a quarterly basis. We look at their quarterly reports. We have conference calls with them on site visits. During these site visits, we can see their progress. We can motivate them. We can see if they're on right track, if they're focused. ESS is one of these companies that RPE has supported from its infancy to its maturity. So what ESS is working on is a uh, all iron redox flow battery. Um, and the benefit of this technology is that it uses iron as the act material on both sides of the battery. It's environmentally friendly, it's extremely low cost, it's using abundant materials. We started working with Stone Edge Farms in late 2012. The main purpose of our battery um, at this facility is to bulk ship renewable energy, primarily from the daytime to the nighttime. They grow a lot of grapes on site here that our chemistry is primarily benign, um, was a big driver for them. The two main problems I would say that we've had with the iron flow battery is one, cyclability, and the second is probably efficiency. So we've worked with, with RPE pretty aggressively in, in, in working with their experts in the field to understand you know, how can we address these problems. Over the lifetime of our grant, we've actually changed some of the milestones um, to address some of those issues, refocus on the cyclability issue a little bit more. The big goal with our technology is to really bring down the cost of energy storage and particularly do that with a, a battery that's environmentally friendly from cradle to grave. What RPE's done with our quarterly meetings, keeping constant contact with them, is to keep focused on the technology, make sure we're hitting our quarterly milestones stones, brainstorming, trying to figure out different ways to meet that cost target that we can do economically and keep jobs within the states. These on-site visits are very important because we do get to interact with the, with the team one-on-one. -on -one. So Monol is working on a wideband gap technology and they have a novel device architecture that's going to push the limits of silicon carbide technologies. We have an RPE switches project to develop silicon carbide power MOSFETs and diodes in a manufacturable way. And it's a technology that improves the efficiency of electrical conversion for things like solar inverters, data centers, or electric vehicles. I think there's a global trend towards increasing electrification. So there's a need for more intelligent, more efficient, lower cost ways of utilizing electrical energy. We've developed our technology at a university and transitioned it now into a high volume manufacturing facility. The RP project helped us focus not on just the device metrics, but also on the higher level system metrics that were important. So we didn't put ourselves in a box where we have the best performing device, but it wasn't applicable to the system. It's neat to see that they have multiple people that we touch base with, program managers, tech to market people. Having sort of that diverse group of people with different ways of looking at the world definitely helps. The Switch Project was, was critical towards the survival of our company and for the advancements of our silicon carbide technology into high volume manufacturing. I see that as a highlight of my of, of, of this job, being able to travel and see all these people on site at their achievements, meet with them, make the personal connections. RPE has seen us go from a, you know, a few guys with a, a mailbox to actually have a facility and start delivering components to customers. Our company now is up to um, 25 employees. We have numerous commercial customers. We have the system here at Stone Edge Farms. We also have um, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers as a customer. We get to see what the energy uh, future of this country or the world is going to be. We uh, help shape it and we also get to see it. Uh, it's very, uh, very exciting.